One of the most remarkable features of a contracted stomach is the fact that the mucous membrane is thrown up in these folds. And these folds are going to allow for the expansion of the stomach as it fills up. These folds are called rugi. Rugi is plural of ruga, and rugi translates into wrinkles. So a ruga is a wrinkle. Here is the esophagus. Right around the opening of the esophagus into the stomach, you have the cardiac region. This dome-like recess on the superior part of the stomach is referred to as the fundus. This tapering part of the stomach, which leads into the duodenum, is the pyloric region. And all the remaining region of the stomach between these three regions is then referred to as the body of the stomach. Right over here is where we find the pyloric sphincter. So this is a sphincter which is due to the presence of an increase in the thickness of the circular layer of smooth muscle. And this sphincter is going to control the outflow of chyme from the stomach into the duodenum, which would be beginning right over here. What this is meant to illustrate is a gastric gland. The gastric gland has an opening here by which the gastric juices are going to be released into the lumen of the stomach. This is the gastric pit. And at the base of the gastric pit, we have the actual gastric glands, which are over here. These are tubular glands which would be extending into the mucosa. So this structure here is meant to illustrate the structure of the gastric glands.